friends in Christ, Pastor Brian here. I've just wrapped up teaching another section of Judeo-Christian Journeys for the University of Dubuque's Cedar Rapids campus of their LIFE program. LIFE is an accelerated adult education program designed for those who are already in the workforce. I very much appreciate that St. John allows me to follow this passion, and it has benefited my ministry here. The course covers, as well as you can in five weeks, the Judeo-Christian journey from the life and ministry of Jesus through the present day. Every time I teach it, there's a surprise among my students at some part of the history of the church or scripture or the life and teaching of Jesus. Something that my students either have never heard or they didn't process it when they heard it earlier in life. Now, we know the importance of our history, don't we? The city of Ely is getting ready to celebrate their 150th anniversary this summer with a big celebration August 12th and 13th. In fact, St. John and our partners at First Presbyterian near Ely are hosting an ecumenical worship service on August 14th. We celebrate our history because it's important to remember what we were and where we've come from. See, these things shape who we are now, both good and bad. When we understand our history, the good, bad, and indifferent, we can better leverage those things that are our natural strengths and be attentive to those places where we might be prone to ignore things or act on situations in unhelpful ways. St. John was organized 166 years ago on March 2nd, 1856. However, we only called our first full-time pastor in 1981. So for 125 years of our history, St. John has been served by a part-time pastor and the dedication and service of lay members. I saw the positive effects of that history of lay leadership in the transition between Pastor Eric and myself. How members stepped up and continued the mission and ministry of St. John even while pastor leadership was in flux. Now, there are also challenges in our history, ones that are reflected in our community. See, St. John and the city of Ely were small and relatively stable entities for most of their history. The families that made up this particular congregation stayed the same, with some exceptions, for a long period of time. People got to know each other very well, and as often happens in any long-term relationship, they fell into established patterns, boundaries of who did what, who made what decisions, those kinds of things. Well, as the city of Ely grew and St. John began to grow with new members who had moved into the community, there would sometimes be friction as these new members often unwittingly broke those established patterns. Now, when the normal way of doing things is disrupted by others, it's a natural human reaction for those who know the patterns to get a little upset. I think we can all relate to that. But with time and intentionality, we've worked through those things. Knowing our history and the assets and liabilities that it brings helps us to navigate these moments with more grace. It brings an awareness of where some of our feelings might be coming from, and it allows us to deal with those feelings and the root causes of them, and not to blame other people who might not even know what they've done wrong. Friends, is there something in your own life like this that you can relate to? A moment where knowing your own history or someone else's history helped you navigate a conflict successfully or maybe even avoid one altogether? I'm sure there is. As our city of Ely celebrates 150 years of history, I look forward to learning more about this place and the people who have lived worked, raised families, and died here. 
to understand the things that, well, makes Ely unique from any other place in Iowa. So that as we move forward together with our old town district and capital improvement plans, we might honor that history, even as we look to the future. God's blessings.